Morning everyone. So I'm going to be fitting this morning the Senna Tensi Evo to one of my helmets. I've got a few different helmets that I use for, for, for work and, and pleasure. But the helmet I'm choosing is the Shui Neartech 2, the flip up white. Um, currently fitted with all the autocom, so the, the market, the pla place where our ear speakers go and so forth is all there. Um, so I'm just going to spend uh, 10 minutes, de-accessorise it from the old autocom setup, give it a bit of clean while I'm at it, and then um, fit up the uh, fit up the, the Senatensi Evo. All nice and clean. And the old um, autocom earpieces, microphone, boom, cables taken out. And the, like most helmets, you can detach most of the insides. You can see. Um, nice to see. So if you can have a good look in there, you've got the speakers, ear, ear speakers inside and the spacers, the foam spacers which um, I've used from the last um, autocom I'll be able to use. So what they provided um, with the Senna, I won't need to use those. So using a bit of what I've already had fitted to the helmet as well. And just um, as I go along, finding out these little things. So, you know, if you're happy with what you've got in the helmet bits and it can be, it's compatible, then use it. Okay, so uh, fitting the clamp, what I've got is a rough idea where I want the clamp and ensuring that um, I can still have access to the to the sun visor, so I need to be aware of that. I've got a rough idea. So I've got the clamp. Um, I'm choosing the the um, the one with the adjustable dial, which we explained. I think this is probably the better one to go for. Uh, so good thing about the these screws is they're quite long, so you can get quite a good um, amount of free play there um, so we'll attempt I think roughly here we can see that so that should still give me the access to my sun visor. And then remember this is all adjustable. So once you've got the camera mounted and then you use your app, tighten these back up. You can adjust it, the position, if it's not working for you. So we'll try it with this for now. So that is now fully attached to the helmet. fully um, attached. I suppose the idea there then is that the center clicks on. It still gives me access to my sun visor and it is not interfering 
with the flip. And remember with this one, the benefit of that adjustment dial um, is that I can, we can come back off. The benefit is that I am able to adjust the camera. I think that's the idea, which is pretty nifty. So happy with where that's situated. Fitting the um, earpieces and the mic com connection um, are all going to be inside the helmet, inside the lining, and the external um, microphone socket which goes into the camera needs to be fed at the bottom. Now I've taken the lining out uh, you just need to be a little bit careful when you're feeding the wires through and then feeding the lining back in because the edge of the um, lining that goes back in is quite sharp. So what I don't want to do is in any way damage the wires. So I just need to give that a little bit of thought. There is a little channel um, even further inside, which I'm going to feed the cable through and ensure that when I do clip the lining back in, that I'm not damaging the wire that comes out and connects into the unit. So a little bit of caution there. Okay, so the mic cable into the unit. And a very cool little locking mechanism there. So what I've actually done is I'm feeding the wires through and in the lining I noticed even better a gap which will prevent any damage to the cables. So feeding the cables through to there I can then pop the lining back in without damaging those cables. And then I can feed the um, speakers, um, the earpieces, feed those. Remember the long wire goes on the opposite side, the short wire one goes to the nearest to the unit. And I also connect up the mic. So that's good. Okay, so all good there then. We've... Um, fed the wires through, uh, finding the best best route for them all so they're not snagging and so forth. So I've got the, the mic comfortably fitting to the to the unit. Uh, the wires are going to be feeding through. So it's now just a question of feeding the uh, and connecting the microphone and tucking all the wires away. Earpieces are in, all nice. Tried the helmet on a few times making sure it fits okay. So we'll have a look at fitting the mic. So lots of trying on to get the earpieces into place, lots of trying on getting the microphone in the right place before you sort of fix everything permanently. Um, and then the connection for the microphone into the earpieces. Tuck all the wire away again. Uh, 
and the job there is a good one. Um, the microphone, the boom, boom as a cover, so we'll pop that on. Should go, I think, all the way over. I'll twist a few dials just to make sure that it's attached correctly. Looks good. And then we'll have another trying on. So that's the Evo 10C, uh, the Senna 10C Evo fitted then to the Shoei. Um, all the wires tucked away nicely and connected, the earpieces, and I've put the microphone, the boom on the front as well. Um, what I would say is also just be careful when, you, when you're fixing your lining back in and your poppers that you're not got any wires um, in the way. And what I think I'm just going to do is, because I've got these little wires here, I think I'm just going to um, well, that's not bad um, just connect them together uh, maybe a little cable tie, not too tight though, just to tidy that up. But overall, um, that's that's it fitted, which I'm quite happy with. So uh, the next bit will be getting it uh, going and having a look at it, how it's working. Um, so the next thing is to put the SD card in uh, underneath. Um, little tip for you, writing, the writing of the SD card towards the helmet. And you can slide it in quite nicely. It should just click in nicely and then you can put the cover, the port back over. So that's brilliant now, that looks good. So that's the um, fitting <clears throat> all completed. Um, very happy with that actually now. Uh, took me time with it. Um, try the helmet on a few times as well, get the position of everything right. Um, so the weather's quite poor out at the moment now, so I'm going to leave the video there. I'm going to finish this video for now. The next video I will. Um, do on setting it up using the app and 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 recording and stuff like that so for now uh, i hope you find that video useful um getting quite excited now to get it, get tried but really really pleased with how that's looking so um any any questions obviously come comment on the video in the box below but um bye for now <laughs>